The mission of the Nutrition Society is to advance the study of nutritional sciences and its application to prevention of disease and promotion of health in both humans and animals. Learned societies exist to publish papers on their particular specialisation. As a learned society, its focus is nutritional science. It is very much a member-based organisation, over 2,000 members. The Nutrition Society really is a home for this subject area in, in the United Kingdom and in Ireland. It gives us a sense of community and identity, I think, that's very, very important. Along with the other Royal Societies, there's a role for the Society to play in terms of influencing Parliament, uh, and influencing uh, policy. The Society contributes to this through their journals and then the textbook series. Through our conferences, we are made aware of uh, research findings as they're happening, often before they've been published. I think the Nutrition Society has a wide remit where it can connect researchers and clinicians, but also have representation in societies such as the British Society of Gastroenterology that tends to deal with a lot of nutritional issues. So the Nutrition Society can bridge these gaps. I joined as a student um, and I've always felt it's been a, a welcoming community. For a member that's based overseas, the Nutrition Society is the ideal society to join. The fact that you would be able to access the journals as part of your membership where you would have a review of the latest in a particular subject area is just fantastic as a resource. I also think that it's important for upskilling, so it can give great opportunities for people throughout their career in which they can run conferences or be involved with the society in many aspects. The society is, is very supportive, friendly and approachable and I think to network with experts and, and increase your reach um, is, in a, is really a benefit for, for members. One of the main activities of the Nutrition Society is the publication of its journals. The number of journals the Society has in its portfolio has increased over the years. Certainly, I, I would say that I think Nutrition Society journals are perceived with a certain amount of respect. I think that comes from, I guess, the range and the, the depth and the breadth of the topics that are covered. I think the meetings uh, offer a number of opportunities. First, you get the chance to hear state-of-the-art science conducted by world leaders. So the Nutrition Society will work very hard to ensure that the best speakers who are available come to each meeting. We look around for the real experts in the field. We look around the world, in fact, to find the best speakers for a particular subject. I'd presented several times at conferences. I had several abstracts that had been published. I could also show that I'd had an opportunity to gain a grant in the form of a travel award and the travel award allowed me to travel to the Netherlands for a vitamin D workshop. It's great to have a publication against your name. You can put it on your CV when you're applying for a job and employers will be impressed. You see joining the Nutrition Society gives you a chance to be part of a community. The Nutrition Society is an extremely collegiate, extremely friendly community. It's a chance to interact with your peers. I feel very proud that I've been a member of the Nutrition Society for, for nearly 30 years now. And the Nutrition Society has been a constant really through my life and has been very important during my um, career. If I'm going to be a member of the Society forever, absolutely, you're not going to get rid of me that easily. <laughs>